Listen, I may be just a notion now, but trust me, I could be so much more. So now's not the time to give up on me. Look, you're the one who created me. So you're the one who can do something with me. Because it's not how many ideas you have. It's how many you make happen. Whether you've got a big idea or you're seeking one, Accenture helps turn innovation into results. Accenture, innovation delivered. The stories that affect you can happen anywhere. For the latest news from Washington and around the world. Wolf Blitzer reports weekdays 5 Eastern on CNN. Attention, Florida residents. This weekend, district discounts will be issued in the South Florida area. Select dealers working in conjunction with manufacturers are being awarded district discount status in an effort to maintain market leadership. Regional reps have been authorized to pay 40% over NADA book value for your trade. Discounts up to $7,000 off original MSRP. Factory rebates remain in effect. 0% financing available. And all credit applications will be accepted. District discounts at Coral Springs Auto Mall. Holman Lincoln Mercury, incredible, gigantic, 2002 model year closeout in Miami, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano, Margate, and Pembroke Pines. Every 2002 Lincoln and Mercury closeout priced with savings up to $10,000. Interest rates as low as zero. Don't miss this event. Holman Lincoln Mercury, incredible, gigantic, 2002 model year closeout in Miami, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano, Margate, and Pembroke Pines. Going on now. I want to feel like I'm at a rock concert. Actually, I want to feel like I'm at a stadium or a movie theater, but still have a place to spend some quality family time. I got you covered. AT&T Digital Cable. Perfect. Lots of sports, great movies, and quality family entertainment. AT&T Digital Cable. Everything you're looking for, all at a great price. I love what you've done with this room. Thanks. AT&T Digital Cable. Home improvement made easy. There's a better way. With in-demand pay-per-view on AT&T Digital Cable, it's hassle-free. Just point, pick, and enjoy the best movies, sports, and events. Oh, I love this movie. Sad when the dog dies in the end. In-demand pay-per-view from AT&T Broadband. It's the better way. This is CNN. This is CNN. in the show from uh, the uh, person with the uh, Cuban American National Foundation, the director of that group. And now we're going to hear uh, from another voice here. That Those conservative voices tend to get a little more attention, particularly when it comes to politicians. But there are other Cuban Americans who sing a very different tune. They would like to see the U.S. embargo lifted on Cuba. Our guest right now is the executive director of the Cuban Committee for Democracy. Uh, she came to the U.S. from Cuba when she was 12 years old. Elena Freire, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, start with the speech today, President Bush calling on Fidel Castro to meet certain demands before the U.S. would even consider lifting the embargo. Was that an appropriate message? Well, you know, the more demands you make upon the Cuban government, the more the Cuban government doesn't move. Uh, I think that uh, actually what ought to be done is what Jimmy Carter called for, which is this country, which is a big, large, very powerful country, should move first and make the first gesture to lift the embargo. But why not put some demands on Fidel Castro? In other words, if you simply lift the embargo, others would argue, you just give Mr. Castro a freebie, you give him a gift. You're actually not giving Mr. Castro anything. You're giving the Cuban people something. You know, for 40 years we've been trying to push Castro to do stuff, and for 40 years Castro has resisted. And, and I think that you have to finally realize that this is a failed policy. And you don't want to continue with failed policies when, when it's time to, to let them go. Are your views, do you think, in the minority here? I, I know that you've taken some heat for some of the things you've said in the past among your own people, among the Cuban-American community. Uh, things have calmed down because I think that, 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 that the, uh, the exile community has moderated itself, with some notable exceptions. 
but it's still a very rough going when you want to express your point of view. And I think it's a shame because I believe that if we want to bring democracy to Cuba, we have to be democratic ourselves. You've been outspoken about the community here. I know you've said that they, that at least you have traveled to Cuba, and I believe you've suggested that others should do the same, haven't you? Correct. Uh, I, I think Why? I think we ha I have to, I think we have to be a little careful to make sure that we're headed in the right direction. And uh, for 40 years, we really have been headed in the wrong direction. We haven't gotten anything. So it's time for a change. Why the time is now. I'm having trouble getting important? I, I'm sorry, okay. I'm having uh, trouble getting you. Let me speak up. Why is it important to travel to Cuba? Because every single American that travels to Cuba is an ambassador to democracy. I, I think that I, and also it's a constitutional right that the, that the people of, of the United States have to go wherever they want. I, I think it's terrible not to allow them to go wherever they want. In terms of Cuban Americans, do you think Cuban Americans should travel back to Cuba to, to see the way things are there? I, I, well, not only that, but I think, I think that it's outrageous that there's a government telling people that they can only see their mother once every 12 months. That, that's a ridiculous policy. Talk to me about the community. You said that you think it's more moderate now than it was before. Is there a diversity of views, a spectrum of views within the community here? Absolutely. Very recently, as recently as March the 28th, there was a conference that was held at the Billmore Hotel. And the, the title of the conference, the working title of the conference was The Time Is Now. And it, it, it was uh, um, 300 Cuban Americans, mainly from the, the South Florida area, that were there calling for a lifting of the embargo and for normalizations of relations with Cuba. You couldn't I have asked done Mr. that Mas three, Santos. four years ago. Sorry. I'm sorry. I asked Mr. Mas Santos, I was just going to say, I asked Mr. Mas Santos a question. I'm going to ask you the same thing. What do you see as the end game right now for Cuba? Does, it, does Castro need to go away for relations to improve? I'm afraid I'm going to have to re repeat that. There's music going on here, and it's hard to hear you. That's okay. That's okay. I just said, what's the end game for Cuba? Um, Could you hear me? Could you hear me all right? Okay, we're going to have to leave it at that. I, I apologize for the sound no, behind you. No, it's quite all right. It's not, it's not your church. fault. It's that there's an, uh, there's an okay. orchestra here, and it's almost impossible to hear you. No problem, but thank you so much, Elena Freire, for joining us. Elena Freire, Executive Director with the Cuban Committee for Democracy, uh, joining us here in Miami. Cuba isn't the only reason that President Bush visited this state today. It might have been a little bit of brotherly love as well. That might, been, might have been one of the reasons why he cho chose to come south to the Sunshine State. More on that when we come back. Imagine a remarkable winemaker who taught his grandchildren everything he knew. Now imagine his grandchildren arriving in Sonoma, California's premier wine region, and within 10 years winning Winery of the Year in California, gold in France, gold in Italy, best Chardonnay in the world in London. These are the new Sonoma wines of Gina and Matt Gallo. Gallo of Sonoma, new generation, world class. Now's the time to join America Online, because now you'll get our best offer ever. It's simple. If I can do it, you can do it. If I knew it was this easy, I would have started a long time ago. There's never been a better time to join. That's right. Now's the best time for new members to try AOL. Plug it in and you go. Call one 265 one and get our best offer ever. Plus features you'll own AOL. When you know you got mail, you hear this really cool voice that says, You've got mail. Oh, I love that. I wonder who that guy is. My single favorite feature has got to be instant messages. It's having a verbal chat electronically. Our free 24-hour customer service representatives are always available by phone. They're very responsive. They speak your language. Nicest, kindest, most patient people I know. Parental controls help keep kids safe. My mom's got it. My dad's got it. Both my brothers got it. AOL has it all. You can have it all, too. Call one 877 6501000. Join AOL now and get our best offer ever. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Wherever news breaks, depend on the people of CNN. 
for live coverage you won't find anywhere else. Whenever the story happens, from hot spots around the world, CNN is already there on the ground with over 1,000 of the most experienced journalists worldwide. Every day, every night, everywhere. Depend on the people of CNN.